now we'll discuss how we can represent our graph in the in data structure form let's say i want to uh, we have given with some scenario let's say a city is there uh, name of the city is a and b and c and d is uh, the cities four cities are there and we have a certain connections are there how we can uh, means implement those uh, how we can store those values into our coding part into our data structure so uh, the major two uh, representation of the graph is there that is adjacency matrix and the adjacency list first is, uh, let's discuss about the adjacency matrix what an adjacency matrix is let's say let's create an ex uh, graph example okay, let me use my pen here let's say a graph is there that is a or let's say i'm numbering it to zero because we are talking about the you can have a uh, character or string as well that does not matter let's say it is zero it is one and it is two d And let's say these two are connected with another node. Let's say it is five. Okay. So in the matrix representation or the adjacency uh, matrix representation, how we can store our graph? It means let's say uh, a city A is there and B is there, and and num I'm numbering my cities. And city A, A means it is zero. City B means it is two, or city C means it is one. Let's say a uh, the name of the city is our number so how i'm going to store these values i'm going to create a matrix 2d matrix let's say one two three four five and six are, six nodes are there so i'm going to create a six by six matrix let's say i'm going to create a six by six matrix here okay again now what i'm going to write i'm going to write zeros and zeros complete zeros okay Two, four, six. Okay, we are having. So we are going to create a six by six matrix here. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six. One, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let's say I am going to create a six by six matrix here into our using two D data, two uh, D matrices. Okay, let's say this will be the column 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Again, let me create another column here that is 0. Let me give in space here. 1. Okay, just create a 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so our matrix in the starting will look like it will something looks like this. It means how we are going to do we are going to store uh, let's say from 0 to 1 there exists a path from 0 to 1. These are the bi directional path from 0 to 1 there exists a path from 1 to 0 there exists a path. So it will uh, from 0 to 1 let's say uh, from 0 to 1 we are going to write in this. In this place, we are going to write one. It means if we are if I'm writing one into this matrix, it means from zero to one we are having a path, and from one to zero as well we are having path. So from one to zero, it means from row number one to column number zero. It means to row number one uh, from row number one to column number zero. Okay, we are having a path. Okay, it means uh, and for this the uh, for this uh, as we have already stored into our data structure that is it in our matrix let's say i want to add from uh, i want to add this path from 0 to 2 and 2 to 0 from 0 to 2 it means uh, the row 0 and the column 2 it will have a path that is 1 and from 2 to 0 from 2 column number 2 to from column uh, from row number 2 to column number 0 there exists a path from 1 to 3 Yes, one, two, three. 
means there exist a path from 1 to 3 and 3 to 1 as well. Okay. 3 to 1. And 1 to 4 and 4 to 1. Uh, 1 to 4, let's say from 1 to 4, we are having a path. And from 4 to 1, we are having a path. Okay. Uh, we are done with this. And from 3 to 5, we are having a path. From 3 to 5, we are having a path. From 5 to 3 as well, we are having a path. Okay. And as well as from 4 to 5, uh, from 4 to 5, we are having a path. From 4 to 5, from 5 to 4 as well, we are having a path. Okay. Sorry, it will be the 1. Okay. So, uh, if I want to store this uh, currently this graph into our 2D matrix, into our adjacency matrix, it means our matrix will something look like, looks like this. It means there exists a path from 0 to 1, from 0 to uh, how, where we can go, from 0 we can go to 1, from we can go to 2, we can not go to 3 and 4, 3, 4, 5 directly. Yes, from 0 we can go to 1, we can go to 2. And from 1, we can go to 0. Yes, from 1, we can go to 0. And from 1, we can go to 3. Okay, we might sing quick revise. Okay, I'm revising it again. Uh, it will not take much time. So, what I'm, what I'm doing here, I'm just storing the, if there exists a path from a node to another node, it means from 0 to 1, we are having a path. Yes, uh, here we have written from 0. Uh, these are the row numbers and these are the column numbers it means from 0 to 1 we are having a path and from 1 to 0 from row number 1 to column number 0 yes we are having a path let's say from 3 we are having path to 1 4 1 and 5 so in this column number 3 we are having path 3 to 1 and 3 to 5 and let's talk about the 4 from 4 we are having a path from 1 uh, 4 to 1 and 4 to 5 yes from 4 we can go to 1 we can go to 5 Yes, from 2, we can go to have, uh, we can go to 0 only. So, in 2, we can go to 0, we cannot go to any other node. Okay. Is it clear uh, with everyone? The matrix representation. Okay. So, uh, this is the, this is called the adjacency matrix representation uh, of our graph. Let's discuss about one more representation that is the adjacency list representation. What adjacency list representation means? Because let's say uh, in this case we can do yes we can say uh, that uh, we can create the 2D matrix of this graph. Let's say the number of uh, this node is 1500 and 1700 and uh, 1900 and something else. And let's say more and more nodes are there and there uh, the number of paths exist that exist is very lesser. Let's say from 1700 to 1500 there exists only one path and from 1699 there exists only uh, to 1799 there exists only one path. So it means it will uh, it will consume a lot of memory, and we have to waste a lot of memories here because uh, if these are the wasted memories uh, in this in this from four to three, from four to four, from four to uh, two, we are not having any path. So these memories are being wasted. So how uh, we are going to reduce the memory wasted? We are going to use the adjacency list representation of our graph. So how our adjacency list uh, representation will look like? Let's say I'm going to create an adjacency list, let's say for all the nodes that are being present in our graph. Let's say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. These are the five nodes that are that is present in our graph. So from 0, we can go to 1 only and 2. From 0, we can go to 1 and 2. And from 1, we can go to 0, 3, and 4. So 0, 3, and four okay so from two we can go to zero only so it will have zero from three we can go to one and five from four we can go to one and five yes from three and four the same we can go to one and five from five we can go to three and four How our adjacency uh, list representation will look like? It will have, let's say I'm creating five lists, uh, five lists or five vectors or five anything. Suppose we want to check if we can go from one to five using paths, then how to verify or checking it using the matrix method. 
okay shrey you are asking whether uh, i want to check if there exists a path from 1 to 5 or not we'll discuss uh, it when we are going to discuss about the or traversals or dfs and dfs traversal in the next session we are not going to uh, because there will be uh, there will be some algorithms for doing that uh, if you want to check whether there exists a path from 1 to 5 or not 1 to 3 1 to 2 1 to 0 or not we'll discuss it okay we'll discuss it for the matrix method as well as the uh, as well as the list method okay so what a list representation look like uh, this is how our list representation will look like let's say i'm going to create five vectors 0 1 2 uh, 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay the vectors will be the six vectors and i'm going to create an array of that vectors an array of that vectors let's say that i'm going to create an array of six vectors so the first uh, the first vector will have the data 1 2 the second vector will have the data 0 3 4 the third will have the 0 and fourth will have 1 5 fifth will have 1 5 and sixth will have 3 4 okay so it means the first vector is having data 1 2 it means from 0 we can go to 1 2 and the it if our fourth vector is having the data 1 and 5 it means from 3 we can go to 1 and 5 okay uh, here, if we talk about the uh, graph representation, we can directly check if whether a direct path exists between them or not in big of one. Let's say I want to check if one, two, three, there exists a path or not. So I'm going to check uh, in this matrix, whether matrix of one comma three means uh, the row number one and the column number three is equal to one or zero. If it is equal to one, there exists a path. If it is not equal to one, it does not. There, uh, there is no path in between. Okay. If in the uh, list representation, I want to check that, how I'm going to check that? I'm going to check, let's say I want to check whether 1, 2, 3, uh, there exists a path for or not. So I'm going to, uh, from 1, 2, 3, it means I'm having the arrays of the vectors. So it will have, I'm going to check whether the first vector will uh, is having that data, means it will the second vector. Uh, from The indexing will start from 0. So the first uh, element at, at the index 1, that is that vector that is there, it will be the second vector. We are going to check whether uh, see whether this vector is having data three or not. If it is having data three, means value three. It means there exists a path from one to three. Or if it, it is not having three, it means it is not. It means there uh, there is no path between one and. Okay. The representation is clear. I think so. So here we are not wasting any memory into the end this graph representation because if there exists a path, we are storing it. If does uh, if there does not exist any path, we are not going to store it. Okay. Okay, let's uh, try to code these two representations first. So, uh, in this case, we are clear that we are going to use a 2D matrix. In this uh, list representation, you can uh, you have many options. You can use list. You can use vectors. You can use you can use that hash maps as well. Uh, how many of you are uh, means aware of the hash map? Uh, have you ever heard about the hash map or? Uh, is there anyone who is using hash map in the coding? Okay, Smith is saying, uh, he has heard. Okay, dictionaries, yes. In the Python, it is dictionaries. Shay is saying, no, sir. Okay, we'll discuss about the map uh, in the session only because we can show uh, the graph using the maps as well. So first, uh, let's discuss about this. Let's comment it out. Okay, uh, let's quickly uh, design our for first graph what i'm going to do let's say i'm just going to create an manual graph manual 2d uh, 2d matrix let's say and this i'm going to store this graph only so how i'm going to do this i'm going to create a six by six matrix okay a six by six matrix and i'm going to create an add edge function that will take let's say i'm naming this to mat this will take a mat and i want to add an edge from let's say from zero because in, if we talk about in this graph from zero to two will have a uh, will have a graph means we'll have an edge okay and this one minute okay so what i'm going to do now we are going to add an edge from 0 to 2 from 0 to 1 we are going to add edge okay let's quickly design our add edge function it will not do the much 
it will just add or is to so add is it will take the array that is let's say in this function it is mat and we are going to give the size of our array as well because we can have the, uh, okay we, if you want we can write your uh, six here as well uh, or you can leave it as it is those who code in c plus plus can get it and and in the java or python i'm not clear about it how they use this or you can write just six by six it means we are passing our six by six matrix here and let's say int start and int end it means i want to add an edge from st uh, from start to an end okay and before doing that if i have created an integer matrix let's say the type of integer matrix i want to fill all these uh, values all these places uh, with zero first okay so how i'm going to use uh, i'm going to fill this zero i'm going to use memset function what memset function uh, does it takes the matrix and it let's say i'm writing zero here and i'm writing size of mat what it is going to do it is going to fill my matrix with the zeros okay it means right now if i if i want to try if i want to print my matrix i'll get all the zeros uh, i'll get a matrix filled with all those if i'm trying to say add an s between start to an end it means let's say i want to add an s from 1 to 0 1 to 1 let's say 1 to 0 so it will have uh, from 1 to 0 it means the row number 1 to the column number 0 update the value from 0 to 1 okay it means st and end is equal to 1 okay and if i if i'm creating a graph that is having that bidirectional path so what i'm going to do i'm going to add from mat end to st is equal to 1 okay maybe this function would be doing in n square we can directly do mat okay you can do that uh, but uh, i'm not sure whether this function is doing uh, this in n square or not yes you can do that uh, if you are writing this statement might be chance this is also doing it uh, into the n square into this n square okay why because it is going to fill the matrix uh, matrix one by one one by one okay yes okay thank you so what we are going to do let's see i want to ask user whether you are you want to enter in the bidirectional you want to enter a bidirectional path or unidirectional path okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to use a boolean variable let's say bi it means bi means bidirection if bi true bi is true it means user wants to uh, enter the path enter the s into the bidirectional form it means if user want to say uh, add an s from st to end from starting to end if bidirectional is true if bi is true it means there exists a path from end to start as well okay let's say i'm going to initialize it with true it means if user is not going to uh, write anything here it means he's saying use the by default value is s2 it and use n2 from start to end and end to start as well let's see if i'm writing false here it means it will add a path from 0 to 2 and it will not have add a path from 2 to 0 we are going to create a condition here before saying this because if bi is true then do this otherwise do not do this okay this is the condition in this case if i'm going to write let's say from 0 to 1 if i'm going to write false here it means it is going to add an s from 0 to 1 and it is not going to add an s from 1 to 0 okay if i'm not writing anything the by default value is true it means it is going to add the both values the both path from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 okay add is function is the uh, very simple function let's try to create an print function let's see whether we are getting the correct output or not let's create int mat of 6 by 6 so how am I am going to print my complete matrix let's see i'm going to have created 
the correct or not the correct matrix or not i and d i is equal to 0 i is less than sorry it will be okay rn is sync please repeat the add is what add is function is doing add is function is just adding an s between because in the mem set if we call this function it means uh, this uh, this is going to fill my complete array with the zeros it is not going to do anything else so uh, my matrix will be look, looking like as we have discussed in this case earlier that in the initial state it will be the g it will be filled with the, all the zeros so if i'm going to call my add s function let's say i'm passing my matrix to it and i'm saying add an s from 0 to 2 what it is going to say it is uh, going to add an s from add position 0 to 2 uh, 0 to 2 it means uh, at row 0 and column 2 uh, so mat 0 2 uh, will be the one and it is saying if bidirectional is true because the default value of bi is true if we are not adding anything here it will directly take it true and it is going to say if bi is true add an s from end to start add an s from 2 to 0 as well let's say i'm writing false here false or zero is the same thing we all know uh, zero means false false means zero and we can write zero here it, if i'm writing zero here so it will say start to end yes the add an s from start to end in the by directional if i'm passing zero and in the by it will be the false because if we uh, assign any value boolean value to zero so it will take it as a false so if bi if bi is true it is not true it is not going to do anything so it will add a path from 0 to 1 only okay so uh, is it clear now rn see how i'm going to print my matrix here if it is not clear rn you can ask me i'll repeat it again okay the bidirectional is this uh, is making my uh, code easy for me to create a graph if i want to create a bidirectional graph or unidirectional or let's say if i'm having a graph it is having bidirectional as, as well as the unidirectional it can have so as we have discussed in the earlier example as we are having a path from a to b and b to c but from uh, c to e as well from e we cannot we are not having the direct path from e to c okay so let's print out our iron is it clear now if it is not you can uh, ask where you are having any doubt so i'm just printing my matrix here i'm not doing any traversal it will not come into any traversal we'll discuss about the uh, graph traversal in the next session yeah it will have uh, the same two traversals the bfs and dfs in that we were having uh, in the trees we were having in dfs part we are having in order pure order push order but in this will have only one traversal that will be the dfs traversal okay okay yep okay written another node is less than 6 d plus plus okay if we pass 0 then by will be false yes p might will be the false because the default value of that uh, boolean no sorry default value of this boolean is true if you pass one it does not matter if you pass zero it will be the unidirection okay so i'm going to clean my line here slash n okay let's remove this zero if you want you can add print that let's see uh, whether we are getting any output or not okay we are getting an output okay let me print my uh, let me print this uh, row number and column number so that you can so I'm, first i'm printing the row numbers making another loop i'm just printing num i uh, the numbers and i'm leaving two spaces because in the right in the left corner i'm going to uh, print the row numbers as well here i'm printing the column numbers okay, column numbers that is it will be the i taken to paste as well as what i'm going to do i'm going to print the print here i as well it means 
in each and every address and it is going to print by itself it means it is going to print row number as well okay leave in space uh, means the line after printing column number I'm not doing anything. I'm just uh, adding these. I've just added these two numbers to make you clear what uh, we have created. Let's say uh, what I've added from zero to two, there exists a path. Yes, from zero to two, there exists a path. Yes, and as well as we have not mentioned anything here, it means it is going to add from two to zero as well. Two to zero. Yes, there exists a path. Again, add is from zero to one, there exists a path from. 0 to 1, yes, from 0 to 1, there exists a path from 1 to 0 because we have not mentioned anything. From 1 to 0, yes, there exists a path. Let's say I'm writing 0 here. Let's say I'm writing 0 here. What it means from 0 to 1, there exists a path. From 1 to 0, there does not exist a path. So from 0 to 1, uh, from 0 to 1, there exists a path, but from 1 to 0, uh, there is no path from 1 to 0. Okay. Either you can write zero here, either you can write false here. Zero or false is the same thing. We are getting the same output. Nothing changes. Let's say I'm writing true here. It should not do anything because the by default value is already true. If you pass true, it will be the same thing. Okay. It is this. Uh, we are getting the same output. Either we can write one here is the same thing. Is it clear with everyone now? Uh, the matrix representation uh, let's try to add our graph that we have discussed what what the graph was let me quickly create that graph what the graph was i'm not sure okay let's leave that graph let's uh is there anyone who is having any problem with uh, with this concept or matrix representation if you're not having any problem uh, any problem we can move to the List representation, list representation. Okay. Okay, let's uh, create a graph, example graph. Let's quickly do that. There, there, let's see, there is one, there is zero, and there is one here, two here. So it is two. Is three it is three here. Let's say this time this is having uh, from one we can go to three, and from three we are having an S to four. Direct test to four and four. We are direct. We are having a direct test to one. Okay, and we are having a bi-directional test to five. Okay. Let's uh, try to create. Try to add this graph into a matrix representation. So, let's quickly add this. So, how what we are having from zero to two? Yes, we are having a path. But, uh, let's remove this. From zero to two, we are having a path. The second one from 0 to 1 we are having a bi-direction path that is fine and from 1 uh, from 2 to 5 we are having a path either we can write 5 to 2 or 2 to 5 5 to 2 means is the same thing because we it is a bi-direction path and i'm yeah. going to add from 1 to 3 we are having unidirectional path okay from 1 to 3 we are having a unidirection path so i'm going to write 0 here it means we are having a path from 1 to 3 not 3 to 1 so add edge from three to four. It is also an unidirectional path. So I'm not. I'm going to write zero here or false here is the same thing. Let's say I'm writing false here. Zero is and false is the same thing. And from four to one, we are having a path. That is also a bidirectional path. Let's say I'm writing false here. Okay. Let's remove it. I think we have added all the edges. Let's try to run our then let's see whether we are getting the correct output. Let's uh, try random ones. Let's see whether from 1 to 4 we are having any path. From 1 to 4 we are not having any path. That's right. From 4 to 1 we are having a path. From 4 to 1 we are having a path. 
from 0 to 2 uh, we are having a path from 0 to 2 from 2 to 0 as well it means we are getting the correct output okay i hope now it is clear with everyone now so i'm going to discuss about the list representation now as we have discussed uh, we can in the list representation we can uh, use that array of the vectors or let's say i'm going to use array of the vectors so how array of the vectors will look like i'm going to create a vector here that will be the type of int and it will have that let's see i'm having an array of that vector okay how we create an array of the integers we write integer here and we write the uh, name of our array and we write this these two brackets okay it means we have created an array of that vectors and the size of this array is six let's say i'm creating six vectors and the first vector will have that uh, first vector will have the no the values it just to stay here meme set is doing in logarithm time so it's okay Shrey, thank you for sharing this uh, it is taking the logarithm time it means it is a good function okay you can use uh, we generally use in uh, dynamic programming we generally use the meme set so thank you for sharing that okay uh, so what i'm doing here i'm i'm just creating vectors uh, array of that vectors i'm saying at the let's see there are there are there will be the six vector v1 v0 to v5 and the v0 vector will have let's say uh, the nodes that are having a path from 0 to that nodes let's say the first uh, v0 vector will have the data 0 to 2 and 0 to 1 okay because uh, from 0 we can either go to 1 either go to 2 so the v0 will have the data 1 comma 2 1 and 2 okay so again i'm going to create an add edge function let's say add edge v function it means vectors and i'm passing my vector to it uh, my vector that is my array of vectors sorry vectors of the array and i'm passing again let's say i'm i want to do these things i want to in 0 to i want to add 0 to the same things these same values okay Zero to uh, from zero to two, from zero to one, from five to two, from five to two, from one to three, from a zero. We are going to make it in the same manner. One three zero, three comma four comma zero will be the same thing. Comma one comma zero okay let's say i'm going to create a print v function that is going to print this vector and i'm going to pass my vector of array sorry array of vectors so first i'm going to create an edge v function what this add edge v function is taking it is taking an array of that vectors let's say i'm leaving it size to it let's say as well as i'm creating think integer start integer end and integer let's say again bool ei equal equals to true sorry true okay and i'm going to say if i want to add a starting path and the end path it means if i want to uh, let's say if i want to add a path between 0 to 1 it means the vector uh, 0 that is the vector that is at index 0 it will have the value 1 okay so what i'm going to write let's say for vector start dot push back let's say this will be the best vector and i'm going to add my data push back the value that is end okay it means that there exists a path from start to end what it means uh, let's say it is 0 it is 1 so v0 will have the data 1 okay the vector v0 will have the data one okay again i'm going to check if vir vi is true so i'm going to add v end there exists a path from i'm going to update the end vector as well let's say uh if i want to add a zero to one and one to zero and i'm going to update that vector that is at the index one and going to add an 
value to that vector. Okay, I'm going to write push back start. Then I think we need 2D vector to do so. Yes, you can use 2D vectors. 2D vectors will be the same things. Uh, Smith, it will be the same things as we have uh, discussed in that. In this case, uh, either 2D array or 2D vector. Uh, you can, in this place, you can have the, you can use the list of list because how will be that as you don't push well, push will work. Is not, it is in, yes, it will work because uh, push back means this, uh, as we have already uh, discussed here, means uh, we have de defined here, the vector will be the type of end. So we are going to, uh, the push back will work. And to answer you, Smith, uh, there are lots of uh, representation of uh, list representation of that uh, adjacency list representation of this graph. Either you can use list of list, either you can use hash maps, either you can as vectors, uh, vectors of vectors, and uh, vector, array of uh, dead vectors. You can use any of them. Okay. After this, we are going to uh, quickly discuss about the hash maps as well. Okay. The map, because we are going to more implement the maps in our function. Okay. These will be the same things. Do not worry about me. Either you can use list vector or another thing. You should be clear with the concept. Okay. You can use any of the data structure in which you are. Okay. Vi dot push back. But I'll check about it. No, I had some doubt. How can you do? Okay. Uh, uh, to answer you, Smith. If we can, let's say I'm writing a vector. Let's say int. Uh, see it uh, very carefully. If I'm writing e and t, i and t a of size six, what it means? It is going to create an int that it is going to create six spaces in my memory of type n. It is going to create six block of type n. So uh, that blocks will be, let's say, the blocks will be a of zero, a of one, a of two, a of three, a of four, a of five, and a of six. A of five, oh, sorry, A of zero to A of six. This will be the six is uh, six uh, places it is going to create. If I'm uh, if I want to if I'm saying A of one is equal to five, so it is going to directly going to index one, and it is going to A of one is equal to five. That is going to update the value as five. Okay. In the same manner, if I'm writing vector, in the same manner, if I'm writing vector int here, let's say vector int b here b and two these two brackets here it means but okay got b6 i missed that okay smith okay if i'm going to write b6 here it means it is going to create six spaces uh, in the array and it is going to say that these are the these all are the vectors not in n type these all the these all are the vectors it is going to create six vectors in the contiguous manner okay uh, thank you Okay, sorry. Uh, so where we were, we are doing. Okay, let's come to our add is function again. So what we are doing here, I'm saying, at we uh, we uh, let's say at this index that is starting index uh, at that index which one uh, which vector is there? Add that add and n to that vector, and in at the end position add that start to here. Okay. I'm just adding the, these uh, these two values will be added only. It will be added into that vector that is at this index, and this value will be added in this in that vector. This is that vector that is there in at this end index. Okay. So what I'm going to write, I'm going to design my void print function. Print. It is print v function. I think. Okay. Print v function, and what it is taking? It is taking an vector of type n that is an array of that vectors let's say a or b six again so what i'm going to do here i'm going to write for int i equal to zero i is less than six i plus plus okay what you need to do you just print i and print spaces here and print an arrow here and print all the data of that vectors that is at pi okay 
So what I'm going to do for int j is equal to zero and j is less than that p of i dot psi. This is how we print our vector. Either you can use this or you can use this as well. Let's say I'm commenting out, commenting it out. Either you can write this. In this case, if I want to print my data, I'll be writing C out, uh, C out my, let's see, my, uh, what is the what is the name of my vector? That is vi. I'm going to write vi of j. Okay. And I can use my, uh, this uh, colon uh, very well as, colon uh, symbol as well for printing this. Uh, I'm going to use int. Let's say I'm going to create int x here. I'm saying whatever uh, what is the what are the things that are there into that vector let's say p of i and those values let's say uh, do uh, transfer those values into x one by one and print those values and after printing one values print a comma and a space there and change the line as well after printing for one uh, node okay let's whether we are getting the correct output or not okay what it is saying it is saying The line number 28 we are getting some error okay we have not included return type in the void okay so i think we have called our print b before let's call it here First, I'm going to print my matrix representation, then I'm going to print my list representation. So, what this is doing, so it is saying from 0 to 1, we are having a path. From 0 to 1, we are having a path. From 0 to 2, yes, from 0 to 2, we are having a path. Let's say I'm, uh, I want to check randomly from 5 to 2, I'm having a path or not. Let's come to 5, yes, for, from 5 to 2, we are having a path. As well as from 2 to 5, yes, in the uh, matrix, in the Vector 2, we are having data 5, it means from 2 to 5, we are having a path. Okay. Uh, these two are the same representation, but here we have wasted some memory. Uh, here we have uh, not wasting uh, that much memory. We are adding those data means for the, for those when the edge exists. Okay. Is there anyone who is having any doubt regarding the vector or list representation? Sorry, it will be the adjacency list representation or you can use list instead of the uh, vector and instead of array you can use list of list you can use vector of vector and the vector of vector uh, yes you can use the vector of vectors that uh, that will be absolutely fine and it will be the adjacency list uh, representation it will not waste uh, that much memory that matrix based okay i hope uh, everything is fine